Today I am delighted to share with you most of my new Glitter Girl collection from American Crafts. So let's go ahead and have a look. So first big thing that is a little different than anything I've ever had is this pair of glitter infused scissors. So they have aqua um, glittery handles and here on the blades it says get crafty. So I hope you will find them very crafty indeed. And what else? Okay, die cut pack includes 25 standard die cuts you know, printed on, on white cardstock like we're used to. And then these, which are lenticulars. Let me go ahead and take these out and show you. So lenticulars are those sort of moving images Hopefully you'll be able to see that. So the bird flaps up and down. Yeah. The unicorn, the um, the rainbow changes color in his mane. There we go. This one, she winks and it changes what she says. Think crafty. And um, this one goes from just a leaf print to then a text over that that says "Make your dreams real." And a camera that goes from plain pink and purple camera to having stars and saying snap over the top. So just something a little different. I hope you enjoy those. But then you also get, of course, the standard die cuts that we have um, in every collection. Rainbows, uh, cameras, flowers. Shall I have a look at these as well so you can see them? Ah! Whoops. Okay. So some stars, and I'll just flip through really quickly so that you can see cameras, ice cream cones, some text, ice lolly, coffee cup, sunglasses, oh, hello, a few little floral pieces, more ice cream, a little unicorn, girl, a fountain pen, and some journaling pieces here, one with the unicorn, another star, today is the best ever, um, journaling pieces, and one with some words there. Okay, so that is the die cut pack. Paper clips! Okay, these are paper clips with unicorns, cameras, and stars. They have lots of sparkly glitter in them. What else can I say? Um, they are quite thick, so they'll look great off the side of your planner, at the top of your pages, so that they're not getting smushed. Um, but they are relatively smooth, especially the cameras, so they could go on a page. Um, but they are made to be heavy duty enough that they'll stand up to just normal office wear as well. Okay, paper clips, yay. Um, the stickers, done something a little different because I've been a little bit upset about how the pages in the sticker books flip and how you, where you get to the staples. Sometimes you get creases and, and things falling off where it's right next to the staples. So it comes in the pack like this, which does kind of look like a sticker book, but here I've got one where I've unpacked it so I can show you. So you get a folder and you can put the sticker sheets in the folder. So no staples. It also means that we're not losing any space up there for the staples. So we actually get a little bit more room for stickers. There's a variety of finishes. So these are washi borders on white, not cream washi this time. These are washi, but a few of them have an extra special um, coating over the top. So either pearlescent or a little bit of, of a holograph there. This one is a holographic sticker, so pink, pink shiny sticker alphabet. These are normal white cardstock stickers, but they do have some holographs over the top, just on a few of the pieces. What have I got on this side? Again, white cardstock with the pearlescent um, holograph on the top. Gold foil on the floral. So there's lots of different finishes in here. White with the holographs and just a little bit of holograph here on the journaling pieces. So they fit so that you can have 
half on each side and it is quite snug so it should be perfect fit to keep everything all safe and organized and that's shiny too why not lots of shiny okay photo corners they come in three different styles gold foil silver metallic -y, holographic type stars and pink glitter of course so you get 24 in the pack just put your photos in yeah easy enamel dots they're way bigger than I've had in any of my collections so far, and I'm really excited about them. Um, so you get hearts, stars, and circles in each one, and of course they're in groups of three, and then three different styles of each one. So if you want three clusters on your page, you can do, um, you could do three in a group of the the navy hearts and then three of the stars and three of the circles in three different places, or you could do three different groupings where you each have one hard star and circle. You can mix it up how you like. But they are a bit bigger and bolder and taller than I've done before and they have glitter in them. Really, really tiny glitter in all of the colors. Glitter filled enamel charms. You get five in the pack and what what can I say? They're charms so they have little little hoop, uh, hooks on the top so that you can put them on string or ribbon or whatever you would like and it's all glazed over the top so the glitter is not loose and um, but it is all painted on there with lots of, of shiny there we go and the little unicorn says may all your dreams come true there we go these are very exciting for me <laughs> glitter shaker stickers so they're they're like puffy stickers that where the top is clear they have quite a bit of room in there and then the glitter shakes around and there's little holographic stars um, and you get eight stickers in the back. Yay! Then, big sticker sheets. Um, okay, this is the 6x12. This sticker material is slightly different than what I've had in my um, other collections because it's matte. It's not, um, it's not got a, a smooth glaze over the top. But So the, these stay more like the finish that's on the pattern paper, but it, they are adhesive. Um, and then there's the holographic white holographic over the top. Um, so you've got some shiny pieces in there with some borders there and just a range of the different icons and words. Yep, I really like this finish where it's it's not so shiny as before. Um, it looks just like the paper. Love it. Okay, two different sets of thickers. One with words um, in a mix of type and handwriting, all in turquoise glitter. They're a little bit more delicate in the lettering style than what I've done before. Um, so a little bit more feminine and, and, and small and loopy. Yeah. Hopefully lots of nice, happy, positive words. And this, which I'm very, very excited by. Eep! Okay, so this is the marquee font. But um, we've done it in wood grain with gold glitter around the edges. But how many of my favorite things can I put into one set of thickers? Wood grain and gold glitter. Yeah. Numbers and punctuation at the bottom there too. And that brings us to paper. Now, let's see. This specialty paper is gold foil on pearlescent white. So it's cardstock weight. And the white has a pearl on it, and then there's gold foil stars and things over the top. Yay! And then all of these pattern papers. Four by four squares. With polka dot on the back and little birds. This is called Be a Square. This one's called Keep Your Cool. Sunglasses in every different, or glasses in, in general, in every different shape and color and everything imaginable and this rainbowy type half tone on the back with lots of circles and you could use the whole strip to have your rainbow or you can just cut it apart if you just wanted a strip of the yellow you just wanted a strip of the blue you've got that potential in there as well go incognito is this one which has all the little circles with masks and faces or not really masks but glasses and a red and wood grain stripe on the back that I'm going to be using for Christmas. You'll see the papers in here that that may lend themselves easily to Christmas as we go. 5x5 
find a flower is this floral pattern on black and big bold geometric on the back where you know that I always like to make sure that my collections can be used for both boys and girls and there, although there is a huge amount of pink in this collection and it is indeed called Glitter Girl so yeah it's the girliest of all the collections I've ever done I did make sure that I have some things in here where you take out the pink from the patterns and there are things that are a bit more um, easily used for boys as well but you know I, I'm quite happy to put pink on boy pages but there we go. I wanted to make sure there are some pages without pink. I know pink is not everyone's signature color. This one's called Make a Statement. And it's a big background that you can just build a cluster here with your photos. And the background is already built there for you. And then that geometric, this time with plenty of pink. And also red and wood grain. This one's called Level Up. And I really, really love this rainbow and cloud and heart pattern and how it came out. Very happy about that. And a stripe that has little polka dot and stripe textures on it. Get Messy is this pattern that brings together a lot of the different B-side patterns from the collection by putting them into these little circles. Um, and you could use this as a background or you could cut it down to use it as a smaller piece on a background that's one of these patterns because they're all in there somewhere. And it also brings in the black so that you could do black and white patterns with it really easily. The B side has a, another halftone circle type print with a color fade from turquoise to pink. And some hearts. Run Wild is this turquoise unicorn pattern. And the B-side is perhaps a little inspired by Christmas trees. So lots and lots of triangles in aqua. Two different um, kind of aqua and turquoise, really. And teeny tiny aqua turquoise cameras at the bottom. Make Magic is a cut-apart sheet with 3x4 and 4x6 pieces. And a stripe on the back. You know I always have to have a camera print in every collection, so this is Snap To It, and this time the cameras are all very bright colors, and I really will never stop putting cameras in. I think it's the thing that brings us all together, no matter what we're scrapbooking. We all have a love of pretty paper and of taking pictures, so or at least the pictures themselves. So cameras it is. B-side is yellow with pink stars and some little bicycles. And then another cut-apart sheet here called For The Win, which has tiny little pieces, little boxes of various different sizes, and some border strips that are great for layering and when you am um, kind of just trying to bring a page together in the final stages, that is um, really, really easy to do with a design like this. And the B-side is a pink on pink polka dot. This one's called Dream Big, a Harlequin di diamond pattern. Um, with all the different bright colors on white. This collection is all on white, not cream, if that helps anybody in what you're seeing. The B side is a journaling sheet with a unicorn and some stars, but of course there's plenty of room here to cut it apart, so you can choose, do I want my unicorn today or do I want non-unicorn today? You can use however much and will suit your story. Speaking of unicorns, here's Think Pink. And the little circles in the background here match those circles that were on an earlier page. Let's see if I can flip to the right one. Yeah, so it coordinates with, with those bubbles if you wanted to use those two together or just maybe on facing pages or in a similar project. And the B-side is a cloud pattern with little polka dots. Mix and match is a cut apart with a mix of um, rectangles and squares and uh, less bitter, more glitter, and a little floral banner over here. But these are kind of instax shaped with the little frames. B-side is lightning bolt inspired. Embrace Chaos is this circular pattern with wood grain and polka dots in the mix, and a text on the back with all sorts of happy, positive, sparkly things. This is possibly my favorite thing I've ever made. It's called Seek Rainbows, and it's a mix of all the different motifs and in a rainbow of colors. So you can use it as 
just a big background. You can use it by cutting apart all these different things and having basically a massive DIY die cut pack all in one piece of paper. Or you can put it on the wall and say it's just nice to look at. <laughs> that is up to you. But it made me really happy. B side is the camera print but in fewer colors. So just in blue and aqua here. And some coffee cups. You could use this um, in the winter months for warm drinks and there's some red and green going on if you want to make this kind of hot chocolate or red cup inspired layout. Um, all on blue. And bicycles on the back. And a number print with wood grain and with plenty of red so that you can use it for Christmas if you want. But enough um, of other colors that it doesn't have to be a Christmas paper. Yeah, this is called Countdown, and a red with purple, and well, kind of, yeah, I would say they're purple. They're kind of in between navy and, and violet uh, birds on the back. Ice cream print. What, what more is there to say? Who doesn't love a bunch of ice cream cones? That's what we've got. It's called Treat Yourself, and beautiful, well I think, beautiful stars on purple on the back with some little clouds too. Am I allowed to say beautiful? I'm really happy with it. I love these colors. Fall in Line is a wood grain with big bold stripes over the top and journaling grid on the back. Work Hard again mixes the colors with wood grain. Um, you've got some white polka dots in there as well. And a leaf pattern on the back. Just slightly different color than we've ever done in my collections for leaves. Hopefully that'll be something that works throughout the year depending on what you want to scrap. And this one's called Tweet Sweet with all the different birds this time in a range of colors on a pink background. And a striped pattern on the back. And last... Last one is called Talk It Up with all these little text bubbles and uh, all these the little captions. You can use them in strips. You can cut apart individual ones and again have a big DIY um, die cut pack. Or you can use it as a big box or a background, of course. And just finish off a yellow and navy uh, heart pattern with some stars at the bottom. So that's all the papers in individual 12x12s. There's also a 12 by 12 pack that's a little bit different than the 12 by 12 pads we've done in the past. So it includes um, some uh, some stickers and various bits and pieces along with a mix of the papers, but not every single pattern you've just seen there. Um, I don't have one of those yet to show you. There's a couple embellishments I don't have either. There's some washi tape um, and something else that's just skipped my mind, but when I get those I will show them to you. And then also the papers do come in a 6x6 pad which has 36 pages. So you're going to have, you know, three quarters of what you've just seen here. So just flip through so that you've got unicorns, trees, circles, circles. Cut aparts are in here in the smaller scale. I love the cut aparts brought down to the tiny size. Um, so they are in here. I think this stripe is really nice at this small size. Great for cards as well as scrapping. Um, oh! Somehow I've missed this one somewhere going through. That's that's a pattern in there. I've missed a piece of paper somewhere. But there we go. Um, there's more cut aparts, clouds, whoop, whoop, whoop. stars, birds, cameras. Oh, this is the one I've missed. Uh, I must just be missing it in this stack of paper. So one side has these letters A to Z. It does come in the 12 by 12. I'm just missing it here. I'm sorry. I hadn't realized. That's, and then that is the B side to this. Hope that makes sense. Yep. Uh, see, this cut apart, teeny tiny pieces. I love this cut apart in the small size. I, we did something similar in Starshine, and I loved cutting up and using it in the itty bitty little pieces. So I hope you enjoy it as well. And these brought down to 2x2 two two instead of 4x4. Four four. There's that rainbow of wonderful things. Uh, 
numbers and that's it okay so that's the 36 sheets there thank you so much for taking a look i will be sharing lots of videos and layouts um, using the glitter girl collection and i will keep you updated as to when it arrives in stores it's expected in middle of august thanks so much for watching and i hope to see you soon